Welcome once again to the Daily Report. Welcome to the Marketplace. We have with us Gabriel Muthuma, the Deputy Government Spokesperson. We're just going through a few things, some of the cabinet picks, some of the CSs. You know, what exactly does this mean for the country? We might have, you know, veered a little bit away from topic, but we are going to touch on the most important things, I believe. Now, these nominees have already been forwarded to the parliament, and we are going to let parliament do its thing. Correct. We will be monitoring as the fourth estate, <laughs> naturally. Uh, but let's just go through a few of these ministries, shall we? We do have some ministries that are quite rocky. And of course, the people who have been given for those ministries, we have utmost hope that they're going to be doing well. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that have emerged in the Ministry of Tourism and Heritage quite recently is that the Maasai Mara gate fee was raised from $70, which is around 9,205 shillings, to $200, which is around 26,300 shillings during peak season which has caused a lot of tourists to shift to the Serengeti. Would you say that maybe this decision was made because there was no one at the helm? What exactly was happening? No, I don't think so. I think, um, I, always, I always like to believe that uh, before any decision is made, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it goes through a lot of, uh, you know, um, brain cracking. You right. really need to, yeah, why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. And in any case, we may say, we, we may say it doesn't co <laughs> commensurate with other regions. Right. Uh, but I was just looking, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Because be that's perfect, an, a, a more than 100% hike. It may not be the perfect example, but uh, mm -hmm. if you go to other parks, like, mm -hmm. you know, where I visited when I was, when I was schooling abroad, mm -hmm. uh, I was just checking uh, the price of a ticket, of a day ticket, mm -hmm. of a three-year-old to nine-year-old is about 200 something dollars. And this I'm talking about Disney mm -hmm. one day. Yeah, it's well, we may not say the industry commensurate, but right. what, what I'm trying to say is that I think a lot of thought has gone into it, All right? You know, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, we look at 20,000 being a lot of money, mm -hmm. but for what Masai mm -hmm. Mara or for the experience it right. gives you, many people trust me, you mm -hmm. travel from far. Mm -hmm. Pay a lot of money. Yeah, but they get the same views hotel. from the other side in Serengeti. This Masai Mara has its own niche. It's, right. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing place to be. Now, uh, Gabriel, maybe you would say that and that would make sense. But to a lot of people, they're saying that this, globally speaking, when you go to the global perspective and when it comes to the Kenyan terrain, one would even say that maybe right now we're losing traction and we're losing these tourists because there's so much going on in the country. This this means that we're not going to get a lot of, you know, foreign uh, exchange coming into the country. What would you say? Back again, uh, yeah, that's why we need to be careful. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to be careful. A, 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 an industry like tourism is very susceptible to some of the things that we are seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, skirmishes, chaos. If there's something that people have, mm -hmm. Back. And these, that's why I say these are very good conversations for us to be having. And in particular tourism mm -hmm. is because um, there is ready information. Right. Somebody before they travel to Kenya, they can go on social media mm -hmm. and sometimes the goriness of what they see, mm -hmm. just what they are able to see, they say, no, this place is burning right. because of what we ourselves mm -hmm. have projected. Let me give you an example, mm -hmm. very good example. There's a country within our region, one country. They ran a hashtag for six months mm -hmm. saying visit this country, six months, mm -hmm. nearly everybody. In unison, it was done and it happened. Mm -hmm. Visit country XYZ for six months. Guess what? Mm -hmm. They moved their tourism, their visitors, by nearly 40%. All right. What does that tell you? Mm -hmm. As we accept the power of the internet, mm -hmm. there are people who have mastered in using that, that facility mm -hmm as a tool of economic empowerment, mm -hmm. while at the same time, you have those who have taken that beautiful tool of the internet and social media, mm -hmm. and they've turned it into a tool of great abuse, and right. justifiably so, when they just put things and they think it's fun, right. but economically, mm -hmm. it is hurting 
their country. So right. we also need to be very careful mm -hmm. and be fully aware that some of the things that we are doing mm -hmm. may actually be hurting not only the tourism industry, mm -hmm. but many other industries. Uh, Gabriel, when we look at some of these things, and this would probably fall, if he is, you know, allowed by the uh, parliament, Salim Vuria, that is the Ministry of Trade, Investment and Industry on remittance, the expats who are within the country are clearly doing very well because they're sending out it to seven billion dollars in the last year and the dollar is now gaining traction against the shilling. We're at 132, we were at about 125 last week. Mm -hmm. That is going to have dire consequences, especially for manufacturers. <coughs> what do you say about that? Of course, and also, don't forget, don't forget the situation we we have actually brought to our country for the past few weeks. Right. You know, the dollar, always never forget, mm -hmm. that currency is very volatile, mm -hmm. very volatile. So but what's the... What's we, have, the we, have be, we have to be very careful on that. But also, uh, when um, somebody like C.S. Mvuria comes in, mm -hmm. one thing I have a lot of hope with him is that mm -hmm. he knows how, 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 to, how to balance those things. Never forget he was a governor. Right. Two-term governor. Mm -hmm. He has, he, he, he has what it takes. Right. Uh, the rate, the base rate by the CBK when it comes to loans and acquiring loans is at 13.00%, the highest since 2012. I, I know what you wanted to say. I know. And you know here you are going to bring the Moody rating. Right. You know? Uh-huh. Um, he back, I cannot emphasize mm -hmm. more than having what I would call an environment that is investor friendly. Mm -hmm. Me and you have a lot of work to do, by the way, mm -hmm. because we have to continue mm -hmm. projecting. Yes, we want to project come, but we also must speak to mm -hmm. the Kenyan population and try and edify them as much as possible. Same way the president is doing, trying to put up an environment that is conducive because, because it will sort so many things. Mm -hmm. Moody rating, you know, came as, as, as as a consequence of not passing the finance bill. You know that, right. you know? And, and, and uh, you know, when you see such a rating, which is really the global CRB, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, when we are written downwards, what does that mean? What does that portend for the country? Right. Uh, that Credit Reference Bureau, what it does is mm -hmm. it says, it looks at our credit worthiness. Mm -hmm. We've not been able to uh, pass the finance bill. That mm -hmm. means our ability to collect taxes may be hindered, and that goes on to paying our debts and other obligations. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you? They say, you know what? Mm -hmm. These guys, um, they are at a risk of default. Right. You know, it is not, it is really not a good thing. Some of these things we need to have just a, an overreach in right. thought mm -hmm. because the consequences, we may not see them, we may not understand mm -hmm. the consequences, mm -hmm. but they are there. Right. Gabriel, let's just have a little bit of perspective here, right? Please when do. the president, William Ruto, was coming into power, he was very insistent on, you know, reducing our spending as a country, containing our debt. He even said, we're no longer going to be having a debt ceiling. We're now going to be having the debt as a percentage of our gross domestic product. Mm. He did remove a lot of subsidiaries in various, you know, aspects, saying that these are the reasons why we are spending more. However, I do need to bring it to your attention that every year on average we have been borrowing more than a trillion shillings which has been adding to our debt now people do not have these subsidies the debts are going higher and higher the sure? previous finance bill I'm 100% sure check, check one thing I don't again. mess with is the numbers check your numbers again check your numbers again check your Gabriel, numbers again no, the, 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 even the spending power of the ordinary one inch if you go and ask them they say I do not have the money I used to have yeah. There's uh, one thing that uh, I was taught mm -hmm. economically, mm -hmm. and this is something that the president has been able to solve. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking economics, there are three types. Mm -hmm. And this was an example I was given, and it made a lot of sense then. All right. There's the economy of the stomach. Right. He sorted the economy of the stomach. The economy right. of the stomach is mm -hmm. chakulaiko. Mm -hmm. A lot of Kenyans would beg no, to differ. No, Yaunga, that's where you started looking at. Mm -hmm. Beya Vifa, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, are we able, not only is this food available, but are we able to afford? Mm -hmm. And if we are honest with each other, right. Hibak, mm -hmm. it is true, the prices of food commodities has gone down. Let's give the president that, mm -hmm. all right? And then Kune Ule Uchumiwa, Walisema Uchumiwa Mfuko. Right. The money. Mm -hmm. Many Kenyans will tell you, yes, mm -hmm. food, but in our pockets, 
there's still nothing. Mm -hmm. That is why some of the programs that the president had rolled out, mm -hmm. the housing, as mm -hmm. we we're talking, agriculture, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you look at the push mm -hmm. and the interventions mm -hmm. that he has put in job creation, right. on SMEs, mm -hmm. with hustler funds and what have you, mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. was actually targeted. The economy of the pocket of the pocket. Mm -hmm. Was it not going in the right direction? He back, I know for sure. Mm -hmm. You will admit that what I do heading know in the right direction. from the ground. Let's talk about the finance, different. finance bill 2022, 2023 mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. A lot of the clauses within that finance bill, which also triggered some of the protests that we had with this particular finance bill for this financial year, was hitting employees. Do you agree? I won't say that. Mm -hmm. I won't say that. And allow me. And allow mm -hmm. me. First of all, we came to realize, and the president talked about it when he, when, when he took over the reins of power. He said, you know what? We needed mm -hmm. to have a saving culture. Remember, saving, every person will tell you, indeed, it's a form of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Because you're saving for tomorrow, you're saving for a better day, but all, not only that, mm -hmm. you are building your own equity. Mm -hmm. So that is a culture that we didn't, that we didn't have. How exactly? And so the president comes and says, uh -huh. the president comes and says, in programs like, and I allow you, please kindly allow me to use this, because it all makes right. sense, <laughs> it makes sense uh -huh. to, uh, to, to the place that you're talking about, uh, the employee. Uh -huh. Talks, and, and the better one is the health. Right. And uh, on matters of healthcare, he said it did not make sense mm -hmm. for all of us to be, to be put in a uniform or a platform where we are contributing the same. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't make, you say that that hit the employees. It then? did, it did. But you need to see, you need to see the reasons behind it. You know, you needed to take it from a program that did not make sense mm -hmm. and put it in a way that now it commensurates and was making sense. Mm -hmm. You're looking at it in a way that. Mm -hmm. He back, as an example, you were paying 300 to NHIF. The president himself was paying the same amount. So was I. How was that commensurate, honestly? It should be the more money I make, mm -hmm. the more I should contribute. It's actually a global standard. Mm -hmm. I lived in, in, in some of these great economies, and that's how it was. Mm -hmm. I used to pay more for my health insurance than the person who was not making more than I was. Mm -hmm. It's just a global standard when you want to equalize everybody. Right. And here, inequality, I'm not talking about the same. Mm -hmm. Here, inequality, I'm saying, mm -hmm. you, if you're making a million shillings, mm -hmm. you need to just pay more. Mm -hmm. And when we say more, it's the fair share. Just pay your fair share. If you're paying a percentage, mm -hmm. Yeah? You cannot pay the same with Mamamboga. Right, but Gabriel. Right? So many people tell, felt, many people felt, where I agree with you, right. many employees said, yes, it's, it's, it's yes, it's stinging, mm -hmm. but we need to understand mm -hmm. that we are now heading to realize mm -hmm. the universal healthcare, mm -hmm. where all of us, to touch Eleman and Okpigi Wasimu, <laughs> Gabriel, I, have, I do have a question, though, we, Tumia, so and so, money. We are going to have. We are however, to we have. Are, Kenyans are not seeing this. It's been two years. It's been too long, Gabriel. Look, look. This money has been deducted. Do you know? Do you know by now? Do you know? Do you know by now? By now? By now? It could be working. Angalia vilawatu na kimbia kotini. And I can tell you, it's the people probably who are making or making a kill out of NHIF. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, uh, uh, you know, you've had, you've seen, mm -hmm. talk to anybody who knew how NHIF was run. It was actually a wash wash business. And I said it right. here last time I was saying, indeed it was. Mm -hmm. You had hospitals that were charging mm -hmm. government and really getting paid. Right. Yet they were not performing the services that we were saying they were performing. We had one here, 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 somewhere in you know, Kikuyu, around that area. Mm -hmm. They were saying they were doing 29 surgeries in a week. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have a theater. So as much as the new system comes in, mm -hmm. it also onboarded. Mm -hmm personalities, or personnel rather, personnel, mm -hmm. that we didn't have. Right. When are Kenyans going to see the change? The 
already some have started to realize it. Have you not seen uh, the community health promoters? Mm -hmm. Are they not doing I personally have seen none of them, if I'm being honest. Enda machinani, enda machinani. I am, natoke lori. Enda machinani, enda machinani. We're happy. But these are things that are tangible. Mm -hmm. People are starting to feel it. We only need, mm -hmm. we only need to cut on people who don't want these programs to work. Mm -hmm. Because previously, mm -hmm. they had a piece mm -hmm. of that other rogue system. Right. Things have been digitized. Mm -hmm. It is going to actually make mm -hmm. a very big, huge impact towards our universal health care. And I please kindly mm -hmm. call me here. Right. Call me back here so that we can discuss mm -hmm. when that system mm -hmm. is rolled out. All right. I can guarantee you it will be an amazing thing that Kenyans will be grateful for. All right, uh, Gabriel, moving on, let's just go through a few of the other ministries. Of course, the energy ministry is going to have a few, you know, problems for the new CSs. Why, so Why would it have a problem? Already, yeah. the high road maintenance levy that was hiked by seven shillings has gained the attention of the Law Society of Kenya. They're saying the hike was unconstitutional. We have transporters who have been protesting from yesterday, actually from today, no, today is Wednesday, from today till Friday, who are saying that they do not see why that seven shillings has been deducted, has been added to the fuel. What do you say about that? No, I, you see, when, I like when we are having that conversation mm -hmm. of them saying, because we will come to a common ground. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to what I told you. Mm -hmm. There's so much that goes into all these uh, activities mm -hmm. before they are rolled out. There's a reason as to why. Rarely does a government just wake up and say, we are adding. There's a reason as to why. Mm -hmm. And I believe um, as we continue, as there are going to be discussions, mm -hmm. they'll come to a common ground. Mm -hmm. However, I do not see, mm -hmm. as you're putting it here back, mm -hmm. I don't look at it as a problem. Right. It's actually an opportunity not only to engage, but we see where are we going to come mm -hmm. to a common ground. Mm -hmm. We cannot, we cannot continue to throw mm -hmm. again subsidies on things like fuel. Mm -hmm. It did not. Where make is sense. the public it not, participation? It did then, not Gabriel? make sense. It did not make sense then. Mm -hmm. It cannot make sense now, mm -hmm. because that would mean that would mean we will be actually we will be throwing money into a black hole. We don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. We have all agreed. Listen to Kenyans, and mm -hmm. they are telling you, yes, we did not, we do want to borrow more. Mm -hmm. If we can't borrow more, we are left with doing what? You're going to increase certain levies. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, this one, this one, we have to give it, you know. That's what would you say to LSK is, then, who are saying that this move is unconstitutional, the voice of the people was not heard? We did a certain roadshow, and I don't remember the numbers, but I, I, I want to say this in regards to what LSK mm -hmm. have uh, said. Mm -hmm. And it was such an, it's actually very unfortunate. If you look at the amount of time the government is taken to court, mm -hmm. sometimes you wonder, when will we ever realize the Kenya that we want? You come up with this thing, somebody has run to court. And sometimes you just don't do it because there's an element of criminality in it. Sometimes we do it for stars. Mm -hmm. And I feel sometimes for likes, even though that's what right. I <laughs> But it, it, can you imagine something very little? Mm -hmm. We are, yeah, like somebody said, we are one of the highest countries where litigation is the order of the day. Mm -hmm. We need to take a chill pill and develop okay. this country. Mm -hmm. We cannot, something little, the president says we need to look for a strategic partner mm -hmm. to some of these uh, corporations, state corporations, mm -hmm. that are nothing mm -hmm. but a loss. Every time, mm -hmm. yeah, the good example, mm -hmm. at the post bank, every time doors are open, three million daily, mm -hmm. it's getting lost. We need to look for strategic partners who can come in mm -hmm. and run them into profit, never forget. Mm -hmm. Had we not gone strategically with a company like Safaricom, it was a loss-making entity mm -hmm. of Telecom Kenya. You remember that? Mm -hmm. But look at it today. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But the president decides this is the best way to go. Ten people go to court. Injunctions. Court orders. Mm -hmm. When will we, sometimes I really feel sorry for my president. Mm -hmm. I really do. When will we ever develop this? Are you, are you saying that litigation is the reason why the government has not achieved some of the things that it no, said no, no, it would no. achieve? Uh, 
well, to a certain extent, mm -hmm. they, have, they have really pulled back mm -hmm. on the, let me choose this word, they have really pulled back on the momentum. Mm -hmm. Because some of these programs are really time sensitive. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And so when they don't get to be achieved mm -hmm. at that particular moment when we need them to have been rolled out, mm -hmm. It, it's not a failure, really, mm -hmm. but in, in a sheng, well, right. maga umetolewa timing. <laughs> That's the story. Speaking, umetolewa timing. Yeah? Speaking of timing, yeah, yeah. Gabriel, we really need to go through this a little bit faster. Water and sanitation. The government had said, the Kenya Kwanza government had said that there would be a hundred dams to be used by Kenyans. Where are the dams? All still coming. They're still coming. They're still coming. Two years in. Something that the president said he'd do in the first six months. They're still coming. All right. Is that also uh, maybe side effect of litigation? That's Not only that, but also remember uh, when the president came in mm -hmm. and looked at where we were economically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, it's a balancing act. Mm -hmm. So all I know for sure, mm -hmm. and I, this I can guarantee you without fear of contradiction, mm -hmm. all the things that the president put in his pipeline right. as deliverables. Mm -hmm. I have been able to see where they've reached mm -hmm. or the journey that they've been put through. And, Can you and just give us maybe examples, Gabriel? For instance, mm -hmm. we personally, this Gabriel, right. I went to Intare Dam. Mm -hmm. We were there. Mm -hmm. And I looked, at surveyed, I watched. Mm -hmm. They are restarting. Mm -hmm the works mm -hmm. at Itaradam. That's the best example I can give you. Right. Many people thought mm -hmm. that that project mm -hmm. had become our white elephant. Mm -hmm. The president, in his own wisdom, said, we are going to revive this thing again. Mm -hmm. Because what I saw there was nothing short of disaster. And to imagine that that project was stopped because of politics. Mm -hmm. Hibak, the amount mm -hmm. of water Mm -hmm. That particular facility, that particular uh, water body mm -hmm. would be supplying in that area all the way into Nakuru town and those environments. Right. Not to forget mm -hmm. the kind of pyrethrum mm -hmm. farming that that dam would be mm -hmm. able to solve mm -hmm. is humongous. Again, I go, can you imagine that project was stopped because of politics? Gabriel, could that you just maybe, sometimes, could you just maybe give us a number? You know, a hundred dams, right? How many have been rehabilitated? How I, many are I, working I, for the I people? Don't have, I don't have those numbers, mm -hmm. yeah? But just going, I don't have those numbers. I can mm -hmm. make them available to you. Mm -hmm. But just going by that one mm -hmm. that I've just told you. And I know there are so many others that are going right. on mm -hmm. within various counties. Mm -hmm. There are many, actually. Mm -hmm. I know. And I guarantee you mm -hmm. that those various projects right. in the pipeline mm -hmm. will be mm -hmm. will be finished. Right. Finally, Gabriel, the Kenya Kwanzaa government had certain pillars that it was, you know, gauging mm -hmm. uh, some of the things that it could do for its people. There's agriculture, micro, yes. small, and medium enterprises, mm -hmm. uh, housing and settlement, digital health, digital highway, creative digital economy, yeah. Highway, the creative economy, mm. environment, and climate change. What would you say is the one thing that this government has achieved it fully? Because we're almost halfway through the Kenya Kwanzaa. MTP4. MT4, look. Mm -hmm. Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Agriculture, the backbone of our economy. Mm -hmm. Would you honestly tell me that we have not made significant strides to it? Mm -hmm. We have. Well, one and would we bring see. up the fertilizer scandal. But Again, <laughs> a, a, a small speck. All right. Again, a small speck. Mm -hmm. Do we have a bumper harvest or not? Mm -hmm. Ask any farmer. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you there is significant change. Mm -hmm. Already we are still looking in matters tea, matters coffee, you know, matters milk. Mm -hmm. You know, talk, talk to farmers on the ground, they'll be able to tell you. Digital superhighway, look at the amount mm -hmm. of digital hubs mm -hmm. that currently exist. Right. You know, the creative economy, the space mm -hmm. is continuing. It's continuing to open. Mm -hmm. So those are the, 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 the pillars, the five pillars are better. The bottom okay. economic transformation agenda are right. so in line and heading in the right direction, my dear. Mm -hmm.
All right, fantastic. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, that's all we have for like you this particular fortunate, night. You unfortunate. Gabriel, I hope you've enjoyed this particular interview. I always, I always <laughs> enjoy, I always enjoy coming to TV Forty Seven because you, <laughs> you guys, at least, at least stories. you point, at least you point to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you don't throw stones, but at least you point to a few things here mm -hmm. and there. But one thing we must all be reminded: mm -hmm. we need to take care of our country. Right. I believe it's one of the best nations of, of the world. Mm -hmm. Me and you have a responsibility to this country and those that are listening to us. Mm -hmm. So we, we, need, we, need, we need to guide our democracy. I like um, the mm -hmm. speech that the president gave today. Mm -hmm. He really uh, reignited, mm -hmm. you know, uh, his commitment all right. on all the areas mm -hmm. that he has promised Kenyans. All right. Let's allow our president to deliver. All right. And he will deliver. All right. And the government is saying, give us more time for you to see some of the things that we have been promising for the last two years. Thank you so much for joining us this night. I've had quite the time. I hope you have as well. Until next week, same time, same place for the marketplace. Have yourselves a very lovely night. Good night.